Ten of wires that they don't hook up to anything. Um, <laughs> if anyone knows what this auxiliary cord for, that'd be great. Um, we are gonna use. We don't use the radio, so we're gonna use the entrance for the radio antenna and say it and just take it off. So <laughs> talk to you guys later. Justice, the tiny home toy hauler. First thing we noticed when we pulled into Chazowitzka River Campground a couple months back was the lack of usable cell service and campground Wi Fi. This quickly became high priority in items since I couldn't even load a work email inside the camper. Well, we ran to Best Buy and purchased WeBoost RV cell signal booster since we also didn't want to make any new holes in the camper my wife came up with the idea of using the existing radio antenna hole as well as the power source to make this quick and painless. After test fitting the WeBoost bracket I then siliconed every edge and hole possible. This is important to keep the water out. I did try the Windex method to keep our edges clean been cleaning up around the bracket and that helped a lot. Uh, about a half hour into it, I screwed in the antenna and instantly saw the difference in signal inside the camper. We can now stream movies and I can get my work done. So in addition to the WeBoost, we have a WE826 uh, cellular Wi-Fi router up here some Cisco antennas and then 2.4 gigahertz antennas. We got that from LTE Fix. We also got the Sierra Wireless Cat 12 modem that's in there. So we got band aggregation and everything. That works really good. Uh, the WeBoost definitely helps that out though with signal. Uh, we're also about to get a Meraki system in here as well to do some testing of that for work. Uh, so if you guys got any questions on any of those systems or how we're doing stuff, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hope you guys have a great day.